I've just realised I forgot to add the Elgato capture to the stream starting. So this has just been a silent scream for the past few minutes. Hi Alex. Ah well, I will shift it over now. There we go. So, if you missed any of the bits last time, the earth is basically screwed. They ran out of ways to generate power, so all the coal, like nuclear fuel, that all ran out. Atmosphere got screwed up so solar power barely works. So they came up with microwave beam transmission from a generator on the moon. And that just turned off one day. So the entirety of the Earth lost power and they spent about four years building a rocket to get back again. And we have been sent to investigate why it all got turned off. So we've just literally got to the moon. We got to the space station surrounding it and the space station was screwed. Like we turned the power on and it just fell in bits. So we emergency evacuated to the space elevator, which is that thing you've just seen. So receive an ASE unit to gain access to the microwave power control center. So microwave power transmission is offline, station power is very low. Run diagnostic at the control center. So open the doors. And we have that nice light moon gravity. And nobody here. So that over there is a hologram transmission which we need the little robot guys for. That there is an audio log. But why is there no people here? Hello? Hello? It seems empty. Where is everyone? I have no idea. I've never seen the base like this. Is Alex getting any heat signatures? No, nothing. This can't be right. I'll go downstairs, see what I can find. Sarah, we'll figure this one out. And thank you, both of you, for saving me when the blackout hit. I know I am. Expedition uh... team, you must be at the surface by now. Remember, you only have 40 minutes down there. Copy that, Pearson. Don't mention it, Rolf. Can you check out the control center and see what's wrong with the MPT? We'll do. Keep your comms on. I'll update you when I find something. So they couldn't find anything either. The team that went before us. But there's literally no people here. I was expecting dead bodies, maybe a monster, something like that. Council Private Quarters, Isaac Johansson, lead Lunar Engineering. So he was the guy in charge, he's the guy who invented all this stuff. Isaac was devastated when he learned of his wife's death in a dust storm on Earth in 2049. Unwilling to keep his daughter exposed to Earth's worsening conditions, he summoned them to join him on the moon. Claire refused out of concern over Kathy's health and looked after her sister until Isaac exerted his influence to gain legal guardianship over Kathy. Kathy was brought to the moon soon after. So yeah, that's one of the documents we found when we were back on Earth. That Claire was trying to keep custody of Kathy, and her dad basically just got it overruled in the court. And this is a real antidepressant, I found out from one of my friends after the last stream. Quite a common one. Oh look, she did a drawing of her sister back on Earth. 
Priscilla Flowers, five lessons to make you a perfect parent. And I can't tell whether that's a CGI face or a real photo that's just been squashed a bit. I think it might be CGI just because of the odd shape of it. Here we have William MacArthur, Security and Transport. World Secret Service. Cool. So this is to certify that Chief Operations Director W. MacArthur was honorably discharged from the World Secret Service for years of excellence, diligence and distinguished service. Nice. Brief, of back, brief update, the evacuees from Tombaugh are settled in. The bedlam at Tombaugh can never happen again. I'll have no part in that. Good, then we can begin soon. Time for them to make a decision. Because that's not ominous at all. Right, what else have we got around here? Lois Laverde, Research Division. She's been busy. WSA recruits top scientists to Lunar Council. In preparation of its impending mission to colonise the moon, the WSA has filled the ranks of the Lunar Council, established to coordinate WSA efforts on the moon. Two states remain unfilled, Unfulfilled until top scientists Dr. Rosa Laverde and Dr. Isaac Johnson were awarded the position. Laverde and Johansson were chosen personally by William MacArthur, who has a lifelong history in overseeing complex international security missions across the globe and was recently appointed mission commander to the Lunar Exposition. As head of the Lunar Council, MacArthur is to lead the colony together with Laverde and Johansson. So. MacArthur so he's picked them personally so Isaac was the guy who invented all the technology so he makes sense Laverde is a leading expert in the field as well fields of fusion energy development helium 3 So this is the council that was being complained about about on the station orbiting the moon because they were saying that they weren't getting the resources sent up to the station that they were supposed to. So apparently they were keeping something for a project down on the moon. But they wouldn't tell anybody what it was. Speech. Crossroads, Tombow, Earth. Best and brightest, the new age. Outward. That's a nice view. Wonder if they're like other living centres or something, or maybe like research or development areas. That looks like one of the microwave transmitters. Right, what's well, this way? So William MacArthur can't get in here. Connecting moon with man. To protect, yeah that's to protect and prosper, that's like something out of paranoia, that. Do not question authority. Yeah, they're the transmitters. Isaac Johansson. And this one's open, this has the, the hologram bit in it, which can't scan it. How do I access the hologram? 
Hit it with this. William, what the hell was that speech about? Um, Chapter Rosa. It's time. The ship will be ready soon. You can't be serious. I don't know how you plan to fix this mess, but you'd better do it now. That won't be necessary. Come with me. You are serious. Will, have you lost your mind? We can't leave the colony behind like this, not during this blackout. Not with the MPT signal still offline. People on Earth depend on us. Don't concern yourself with them. Those days are over. We have to start the long journey ahead. That was the agreement. The ships were supposed to be our last resort. We didn't give up the first time, and we are not giving up now. When the network is back online, we can provide Earth with power again. We are close, William. No, we're not. We're not close at all. If you still think we can power the entirety of Earth with the MPT, you're more delusional than I thought. We have one last hope, and it's outward. Now get ready, because we're going. I'm not leaving, Will. Not like this. I'm not asking. Get her on the ship. What? Uh, is this really... <sighs> That sounds like a coup. Why, like they were planning to leave or something. Ominous speech. Lunar Council member William McCarthy comes to collect his colleague Dr. Rosa Lover for a mysterious journey. Outraged, she refuses to join him and contends the MBT and Earth can be saved. McCarthy doesn't take no for an answer and forces her to come with him. Sounds like they were abandoning the place, or trying to. Censored information about a damaged reactor as well. That's dodgy as fuck. Why is the door not opening now? Ah, I've got to pick this up. What's over this way? Council. And we are we're on the opposite side of where we were earlier. So I'm guessing I need to repair this thing. Because the one it showed before was like hovering around. You're alright, Manu. So, we've landed on the moon. I say landed, we took an elevator down to the moon. We got here and there is nobody here at all. Anywhere. And there was like a weird transmission from the guy running the thing telling them to get to ships. So it sounds like they abandoned the place. Yeah. Yeah, I'm thinking they've liked it from something. So I need to repair this little fella because he's going to open doors for me. But yeah, for me it sounds like the uh, they've legged it from something. Like they were definitely abandoned in the place. When Kathy Johansson was brought to the moon, Dr. Rosa Laverde was immediately taken with the girl's vivid imagination. Determined to limit the impairing effect of the moon's low gravity on her friend's physique, Rosa closely monitored Kathy's health and growth late, despite Rosa's good care. Kathy's health deteriorated rapidly during her stay on the moon. So yeah, that's a real thing that happens, like in space stations, we're working on satellites and stuff. Like they have to do 
regular exercise where they're basically strapped to a treadmill because with the zero gravity like your bones need pressure and your muscles need pressure to develop and stay right otherwise they end up a bit soft and spongy and dead easy to break so in low gravity or in no gravity when you're on a space station and stuff it's a big problem so how to replay back your recorded memories return to the location of the recording activize any authorized ASC unit watch your memory come to life so if we want further holograms we need to find out where they actually are so I've opened that little vent but can't do anything with it it's in here storage room and another piece of the thing I needed to collect I have no idea what they are. So can I put these pieces in? No. Maybe I need to find all of them or something. Right, what's over this way? Spacesuits. Can they open any of these lockers? No. So that's nice. So that's just a vending machine. So what am I missing? Oh. Ow. Wasn't supposed to do that. You've got a light on her. Can I do anything? I can't. I can open it. Yeah, it doesn't do much. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. I need the thingy to open that. Main hall. Change the living offices. So I'm in maintenance. Five is the control for the power. Six is crew quarters. We got a vehicle bay and a monorail. Cool. So that's the microwave power thing. It looks like it's got a seat on it. I missed something. So I've got three out of three replacement parts. Do I need to like do this reboot thing? No. Not seen one yet, Dave. There might be. Definitely no people and no dead bodies. So I've got the three replacement parts. What do you want me to do? Move ASE cover lid. So I've done that. Place parts on table. Got the parts. What are you doing? Unless there's a different table to put them on. <gasps> Another bit. So I didn't have all the bits. 
Now we can put it together. Right. Film the table. Replace the network component. Guessing that's you. Ah. So you need to go in that way. And then you go on there. That be close on top. Um, put the cover back in place. Successful. AZ connection to Moonhub facility network established. Proceeding with AZ hardware diagnostic. AZ thruster status defective. Full thruster replacement is advised. So his engines broke as well. So we need to fix that. So. Now I need more parts. Place the thruster. So that what was in that box in this room? No. Be helpful if I knew what I was looking for. You, have you got a thruster? No. I'm just confused now. You just still say a rule. Oh, that door opened. So this is some sort of generator. And we need to plug the little guy in there when he can move. Tiny model of the moon. You're still my center of gravity. Much love, Liz. Oh. Long Claire, your handsome claims trophy for oh claims to USA competition trophy. Yeah, so she just got a trophy for being really smart. And that's gonna be the little sister again, isn't it? Hi Isaac, I know you're busy, but could you install a new module to my ASE soon? Lead engineer Sarah Baker from Pearson Space Station has designed an additional emotion module that seems fascinating. It'd mean the world to Cathy too. So I apologise, but pressing matters at Tombar require my full attention for the next few months. Besides, you know how dearly Cathy wants an ASE of her own. She hasn't stopped asking for one ever since you showed her yours. How are her growth results? Hi Isaac, of course our duties come first. As for Cathy, I need to be honest with you, the test results are in and she's not growing, not at all growing like a girl her age should. I worry for her health, Isaac. Maybe she was better off on Earth after all. Please at least reconsider the programme. Rosa, you know she'd be no better off on Earth than here. I'll think about the programme, thank you. You mean a lot to her, Isaac. So the little girl wasn't well at all. So was there not supposed to be like a part or something in here? Ah, there it is. We shall take you. Now 
now? How does this fit together? Guessing you go on first. No. Oh, that goes in the middle first. So, this one now. Or this one. No. Ah, there we go. That one done, and then this one maybe. And then you, you only got the single dot on it. And then we need this bit. Put the wing back in place. It's gonna work now. Yay! And now we only get, now we now get our own little flying dude. And this is on Xbox, Dave. I got this hooked up to my Xbox One X. And we fucked up. Gen generator overload. Reset required. That door's closed again now. Can I actually use this thing? Yeah, I got, with the Black Friday deals, Dave, I managed to get a Elgato capture card. So this is currently hooked up to my Xbox One X. So it's still running through my PC to actually stream it as well. Yeah, it's well worth it. <gasps> I can control him. Yeah, this is cool. That's creepy. The face is like completely blacked out so you can't see it. Yeah, it's one of the um, Game Pass games, Dave. So I picked it because like, I'd heard a couple of things about it. And it looked interesting, so I picked it. Pretty much the same re same decision making I used to pick to play carry and I just looked at it and went oh that looks cool there's the generator oh cool you can see the wires and stuff so this is like a little maintenance bot as well so does this go round into that room Does. So if I go do I need to do some I have no idea what that did. Let's try this bit. We fixed it. Local lockdown cancelled. 
and that looks like another video log of some kind or a hologram log, whatever it is hologram log how do I activate it? there Claire. this is Isaac hi I'm not sure if this message will ever reach you I uh I don't think it will, but I'm trying anyway. We haven't spoken since the arguments about Kathy. I want you to know that she's safe and well. Liar! This message will be the last you'll ever get from me, or from anyone else up here. It's probably something you'll never understand. <laughs> Hell, I bet it do. If someone ever finds out what happened here, Know that I did it for her, for your sister, to give her a chance. <laughs> but you'll do great. <clears throat> you'll do great things. Take care. And, uh, I love you. I wish I said that more often. <laughs> Back when you still called me dad. Instead of cunts, like you are. So he knew something was going down. From that message, he knew something was going on. Isaac Johansson sends out one last message to his daughter Claire, full of remorse about their history, but unwilling to explain what happened recently. He bids her farewell and assures her that whatever he did, he did for her sister Kathy. And he also lied about how well she was. He knew she was ill, he knew she wasn't growing properly, and he still sent that message. Seems like a bit of a dick. Right, we should be able to open this door now. How do I take control of you? No. There we go. You open door. Oh, it flies back to us as well. Cool. And another audio log. Still no trace. This just doesn't feel right. Alex, scan for data history. Uh, there's a recording. Rolf, come in. I think I've got something. I found a recording from the 23rd. That's what, two days ago? Are you sure? Yeah. Can you see it from up there? I think so. Go ahead. Alex, project hologram from September 23rd, 2054. This isn't just the moon up crew. There's too many of them. That These security camera's still on. How do you know? These names weren't here before. There's still dust on the stone. On the monument, you mean? Yeah. Victims of the Tombo evacuation. The date is the day of the blackout. Something big must have happened over at Tombo. Pearson coming in for expedition team. Sarah, Rolf, anything on the state of the MPT? The entire network is down. I've had no luck with bringing it back online so far. Make it quick. If things don't work out with the network, head back up here, whether the MPT is online or not. You have 20 minutes left to make it in time for evac. Copy that, Control. Rolf, I'll check out the living quarters and then head back to the elevator. Spanning a distance of over 400 kilometers to connect to the moon's surface, the Pearson Space Elevator is by far the tallest structure in human history. Safe, secure, and comfortable. The station connects to <laughs> and man. The monumental and ambitious construction is completely in 2024. Yeah, I don't trust anything in this place. There's definitely something fishy going on. Like, if there was an attack or something, 
I'd expect there to be bodies or something like that, but there's nothing anywhere. No, there's, there was an audio log earlier, or a hologram log, which showed a woman being dragged away. So you've got bits like this, but no real fight stuff, it looks more abandoned than anything else. Like, there was a woman earlier who... They were saying to get to ships and she was refusing to go, so they just dragged her away and made her go anyway. So the Hugens Memorial Stone. 2048, six years before the blackout, the experimental cryosleep generator malfunctioned inside the Hugens research facility. Only three people survived, Maria Gonzalez, Dr. Rosa Laverde and Edgar Davis. For their bravery in the face of the disaster, they were, were awarded a symbolic coin, of which one seems to be missing. That'll be the coin that we had back on Earth, then. Because we found a coin in the office on Earth that was like a memorial coin. So, nothing really down here. Let's head back upstairs. We have our little flying guy now who can open doors for us. Ah, so Hugens is like part of the area. So I think we're on Copernicus at the moment. I think that's where we are. Tombow is the place they were talking about with having problems with the reactor. Oh yeah, there's another hologram here. Hold up. Do you see the people down there? They will be the start of a new chapter. Together, we will be humanity's future. At what cost, William? We're saving the species so we can start again. If this is what it takes for humanity to survive, I'll gladly take responsibility. There you are, Johansson. Without your help, this wouldn't have been possible. Isaac, this was not the agreement, you know that. We need to get the MPT back online. I'll be realistic, Rosa. Even if we ever manage to provide Earth with all the power it needs, what do we truly gain? More time to see oceans and deserts taking our homes. William, I've done my part. Let's just go. I'm done with this mess. You heard the man? Let's go. Our work begins. Wait a second. Did they just fuck off? That sounds like they've just... They've got up here. Got the resources and stuff. And then gone, fuck you Earth, and left. That's what it seems like to me. This leads us back. Is this where we came in? Dear Sarah, I found this book and thought you might like it. Please accept it as a thank you for all the emotions you programmed into my ASE. May this book inspire you to program many more with kind regards, Rosa Lovett. Yeah, that's what I think, Dave. It just sounds like they've like the microwave power transmission went down for whatever reason and they just went nah fuck it we'll leave right so this is back the way we came that's maintenance and yeah that's where we came in 
So, I'm guessing we need to go through that council bit. Go this way. So we've got storage. Still not sure about that security camera though. I'm not sure whether it's an automatic, like it's a motion tracker thing, or if there might be somebody controlling it. Because it's following me. It's not like it's on a... Like, it's not just sweeping back and forth like Metal Gear Solid camera. It's actually following where I'm going. See? Right. What were we doing? Oh yeah, we're looking at these again. So, this is back to their rooms. So we need to get to the I want this door open. There. So there is like a generator station that we need to get to where we can start up the microwave power again. Yeah. I was thinking it might be motion sensor, but before we knew everybody fucked off, I was thinking maybe there was somebody watching us. So, crew quarters. Can we access you? No. Oh. Got to do this thing again. So. You go to maintenance, that's where we fixed this little guy. Maintenance. So, vehicle bay needs two. Crew quarters needs one. Crew quarters it is then. Have a nosy. The hell is that thing? Yeah, that thing's definitely trying to kill us. Right. Uh, more of those weird posters. Scan. Although WSA protocol strictly prevents physical conflict on the moon, MacArthur overloaded the ASC unit safety limiters for crowd control. Many expressed concerns over their dangerous voltage. When facing an overloaded drone, most would rather flee than flight. So he turned it into a flying taser is what he did. That's not creepy at all. So I need to get into the security office. Ah, we've got another audio log. Come in, Rolf. I'm at the quarters. Do you read me? Copy that, Sarah. I hear you. Anything interesting? Everything's deserted, so nothing new here. Sarah, Rolf, this is Pearson Control. Our time's running out. Take the elevator back up here to make it in time for evacuation. You've got two minutes. Negative control. MPT network is still offline. Leave it. We have to go. 
Head to the elevator now. I'm not putting anyone at risk. Understood. Wrapping up now. Sarah, you heard control. Are you almost here? Sarah, come in. Everything okay? Come in. Rolf, get over here quickly. An AZ unit just activated, but something's not right. The doors are locked behind me. What do you mean? We've got to go! I'm serious, Rolf! Get over here, I can't get out! Negative control. Engineer Baker requires immediate assistance. We need more time. Negative. I'm calling up the elevator now. Negative control. Control. No, guys! There's still time! I just need some help! Rolf, are you still there? Yeah, I don't like this area at all. Ooh, a note. In emergencies, use Moonhob's construction year to enter the office. Do not share. Do we know the construction year? Um, database. Mission Fortuna. No, nothing on those about it. Pioneer or a dictator? I'm gonna go with dictator. Sleep quarters. Moon Man! Another one of these comics. The astronaut descends to the moon and finds it deserted. As he investigates the facility and unravels the reasons for its abandonment, he soon learns he has no choice but to enlist the aid of an artificial intelligence with unknown intentions. Yeah, you. So I need to work out what year Moonhull was constructed. Looks like they were using this as a barracks or something. Tombow facility was evacuated under obscure pretenses around the same time the MPT went offline. Whatever transpired in Tombow, these quarters provided ample room for temporary shelter under MacArthur's watchful eye. So Tombow was like the generator area. It sounds like something fishy went down. Oh look, bet that's the security code. Right, I'll forget here. So we've received another formal request from Sarah Baker, the lead engineer working at Pearson Space Station. She keeps asking about the cancelled shipments for the Orion Wing. I worry that she might suspect something. How should we proceed? She emailed me to cease all communications with her. Outward cannot be compromised. Could be, Dave. Could be. Right, is there anything else down here? Toilets. More toilets. New poster. Through labour we grow.
vending machines ping pong table maybe with a note Isaac 3, Rosa 2, Kathy 7 letting the kid win right let's try this code then shall we Two zero three two. Whoop. Oop. I need to unplug that thing. Five ones up at least. And off. So I need to get this back into the main area. So once it's back in the main area, I can plug it in there and we can get to the vehicle centre. So. Vehicle bay one, and then you go into vehicle bay two. Looks like there was at least a bit of a struggle. Vehicle bay. We've got a monorail station. <gasps> Moon buggy! Moon buggy! Yeah, we get to drive it. Get to drive the moon buggy. Right. Let's do a bit of exploring first, see if there's anything important here. And then we gotta drive the moon buggy. this do? I just lifts it up. Like a garage or something. Nothing down this side. I will probably crash it at some point. I am not good at driving in games. Dave will attest to that to all the times I used to crash when we played GTA. Hi Sherry! So there is a monorail station as well. So this goes to Tombow! But, looks like it's turned off at the moment. All turned off. Ow. Already on the moon, Sherry. You're already ahead of you. Now we just need to turn it back on. So the monorail isn't at this station. Does it say what this one is? Hugens. So that's the place where they had the malfunction thing. I wonder if my little guy can get in there. <laughs> can. Yeah, I don't think I'm actually supposed to go in here. It's kind of bugging out a bit. Yep. 
Yeah, just a little bit. Hi, Trua. Yeah, Dave probably followed me when I first made this account. God knows how many years ago. <gasps> it opened. Oh, so crashing it doesn't actually do much, it just sort of bounces. Yeah, I just made random people mod Sherry. So now we are on the moon. What was on that sign? Outpost 1, Tombow, Hugens. I have a marker over there, let's go this way. See if we can do any ramps or anything. Oh, crater. Yeah, Sherry, I had to do a speech and everything. There is probably still video of it somewhere. Somewhere. So this is one of those beam stations. I made the bride cry, so I'd count that as successful. Oh. Run. Let me in. There. Microwave power transmission. Oxygen box. Ow. There we go. Top it up a bit. I roasted both of you a little bit. Oh, you're right, Dave. So, oh, that's the seat thing. <laughs> I 
if he can find one. I think Alex is the only person I've heard of who's actually managed to get one. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. I'm guessing that's the microwave power. Did it work? Oh, so you were literally sat waiting for it to refresh, Alex. Moon buggy. Yeah, but out of everybody, Sherry, you are the most likely to think it's a scam because you scam everybody. I do like driving around in this moon buggy, it's pretty cool. Now for the real test, what happens if I just try and bugger off in a single direction? Yeah, out of bounds warning. I wonder if I can roll it. Hi, Brina. For another mad dash. Right. Oh, I need to use the other guy to open this bit. Oh, did Adam manage to get one, Dave? Cheeky bastard. So I think I'm going to get the Series X first. But even then, it won't be like January, February till I can even get one. You're going to stream the raid again tomorrow, Brina.
and I'm dead. Oops. <laughs> I wouldn't even know how to go about emulating on it. So, yeah, I got burnt by some sort of exhaust vent. <laughs> Tell my name is John. Right, so, mad dash time again, but avoid the exhaust vents of death. See a bit, Dave. Ah. Right, let's wait till the smoke goes. Uh, next. Head round this way because there's an oxygen bottle this way, and I think we're going to need it. Can I laser it from here? I can. To the next level. Ah, oh, cool, we're at the chair. Time to fire more giant lasers. Ah, oh, cool, you can kind of see like a gathering energy. So. Need to zap you at the station as well. Or do I? Or do I need to go? What happens if I zap this? Nothing. It won't let me. Zap. You powered up now? You are stationed online. Quick, get in. Katuna, is that you out there? God, I hope that's true. We saw what happened at Pearson. I thought you were... But just now, we detected activity in the MPT network. We haven't seen that in years. It seems to have been a local power transmission, isolated from the power source at the Tombo facility. Something must be wrong at the reactor there. Tombo isn't close, though. Travelling by foot would be suicide. Perhaps you can find another means of transportation inside Moon Hub. Station, I hope 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 
So they've detected we're up here. Looks like we're going to get on that monorail then. Monorail. Right. It controls a lot better than the Mass Effect car. That thing was terrible. As much as I did enjoy like boosting around and stuff on that Mass Effect car, this controls a hundred times better. Hmm. Right, so... We need to go to Tombow, which was this way, wasn't it? I need to go back to the control center. Where is my little computer screen? Here. Diagnose. You're all online. MPT network is still down. Because Tombow reactor facility. Right, so it's the actual reactor that creates all the power for this thing. Monorail is offline. Turn on the monorail. And we have more holograms we can look at. This can be the speech. Today. Today we find ourselves at a crossroads. The catastrophic events that have unfolded at the Tombo facility have opened our eyes to a truth that cannot be denied. We have lost friends and colleagues. Our fellow colonists gave their lives for a hopeless cause. For a dying planet that we could never sustain. We used to call it home. Our pale blue dot. But the Earth we know today is a withered husk, a shadow of its former self. The MPT chained us to a barren rock. But no more. All of you gathered here are survivors. You're here because you're mankind's strongest, the smartest, the brightest. Together, we will dare to leap and risk greatness, start a new age of discovery. Like our ancestors, that fateful moment, they first set out to explore new worlds. We can turn back and confine ourselves to a dying planet, or we can look outward. Now is the time to act. Make your decision and make it now. A new beginning dawns for humanity and it dawns today. So that was his we're buggering off and leaving Earth to it speech. What a dick. I wonder where they plan to go, like, unless they've actually found a planet or somewhere else to actually go to. They're just fucking themselves. They'll just be dead in empty space. Right. Is this monorail open now? Yeah, it is. And we've got another hologram. 
can't decide this on his own now, can he? Look, we don't call the shots here, okay? Now help me out with this stuff. Put that down, Frank. Don't you know what helium is for? Don't you think it's strange it's here instead of next to the reactor it's supposed to power? Of course I do, it's just... Just what? Should we accept everything they say? Do you even realize what the consequences are if we leave while the MPT is offline? What choice do we have? What do we really have to go back to? Floods, dust storms, blazing heat? I'm done. The council's giving us a second chance and I'm not wasting it. Now I'm done talking. Just give me a hand. So, marks out of 10 for that Irish accent. What are you giving it? Do we get to control this as well? I'll look into the audio log as well. Sarah Baker, lead engineer at Pearson Space Station. I was sent to investigate the blackout together with station mechanic Rolf Robertson. I was attacked by an AZ unit and lost consciousness. The reasons for this attack remain unclear. It seems my expedition partner has left. And I am unable to contact Pearson Space Station or any of the other facilities. I'm going to cross the frontier now, passing Copernicus Outpost 1 to get to Tombo and try to figure out what caused the MPT failure. Whoever finds this, please try Monorail. to Alex, and recording. Copernicus Outpost 1. For some reason, we've stopped. Frank has the code. Um, it looks like there was a problem at a reactor facility, which is Tombow, which is where we're going to. But there's nothing there to say what's actually caused the problem at Tombow. Like there were some photos in a security office earlier, but they were censored so we couldn't see what was actually on there. But the whole reason that the power didn't come back on is just because they decided not to and decided to bugger off instead. All Copernicus 1 colonists, this is an evacuation. The reactor at Tombo has suffered a critical malfunction. We're here to evacuate you to Copernicus Moon Hub. Whoa, calm down. Who sent you? We're here on official orders of the Lunar Council. The Lunar Council? Frank, do you see anything strange happening across the MPT network? Mm, I've got nothing out of the ordinary. Tombo seems fine to me. Perhaps you could explain a bit more first. This is for your own safety. The situation will be explained by the Council when all colonists arrive at Moon Hub. So, MacArthur calls the shots now, huh? We don't have time for this. Just take them. What? Get your hands off me! Evacuation crew to MacArthur. We're progressing to stage two. Outpost crew in the package are on their way to Moon Hub. We didn't receive any word from the others at Reinhold, though. Good work, Evac. Wait for them to pass Outpost 1. So... They said there's a critical malfunction at Tombow. That guy checked it and there was no problems at Tombow. So I'm thinking they caused it. Because they sound like dicks like that. And we need another code.
quality of love. This is Pearson Station Engineer Sarah Baker again. I traveled to this outpost from Moonhub, where I was sent to investigate the blackout together with my expedition partner. Moonhub was completely deserted when we arrived, and we were unable to bring the MPT back online. Yeah, sabotage is what it seems like. I'm traveling towards Tombow alone to continue my investigation. The only lead I have is that something has happened at the reactor facility. The entrance to the monorail station here is blocked, so I have to find another way to cross the landscape. It's worth a shot. Yeah, there's definitely something actually wrong with the reactor. Though she was trained to be a software engineer rather than a hardware mechanic, Sarah's found another way to cross the landscape after changing an abandoned lunar rover's broken tyre. However, given the rover's limited range, it's unclear how one could take her to the Tombow facility. <laughs> and they still make maintenance manuals for these things. But yeah, there's definitely a problem at the actual reactor facility. It sounds like they caused it to me. Like rather than it being a possible issue, they've just gone ahead and actually caused one. So I'm out of range of my laser thing. Are there any ladders in here? There are. There we go, just in range. And now my little buddy can go in there. So, that way it goes down and into the wall. You go down into the floor. off this way then oh tiny little iris doors Can't go any further this way, so out here. What have we got. Oh, that's pretty cool. You can actually zoom into the data pads. It's not just gibberish. What you see when you pick it up is what's actually on the screen. One double eight one. So that's one of the codes that we need. Just which one? Because there's a couple. And then we've got another opening thing here. What's this? Oh. This is the entrance area. So. If I go in here. Or is that just a shortcut to get this thing back? It looks like it. So we'll try 1881 on that door. It's 
sleep quarters. One, double eight, one. Whoa, we're in. No. Everything all right over at Reinhold. You asked me to let you know when MacArthur and Johansson would travel down to Tombar again. They just passed the station and she'll be at Tombar soon. Hope this helps whatever it is you're trying to do. Frank, that's good, very good. There's a pattern I'm close to bringing it to light, I just need some final answers. Okay Edgar, good luck. Frank, it's happening, I knew it. Three monorail trains left Tombar, one's headed to Hugens, the other two are going for Moonhub. The first Moonhub train should arrive at your station soon enough, but the second won't until I get some answers. This is the key, Frank, the key to understanding what the council has been planning for so long. I'm close. So that sounds like they were planning to bugger off for quite a while. This is Frank's room, so... Dawn of the Colony. Exhausted but determined the astronaut follows an old friend's trail as his search, his search across the moon continues. In a remote outpost he discovers evidence of dubious plans with far-reaching consequences. So... This all there is in here. I was hoping for like a code to the main security bit maybe. Or is he one of these Muppets? One, dog light, one. Yes, he is. He's the same kind of Muppet who uses the same password everywhere. For manual maintenance check. Maintenance on that. And we have stockpile of helium. Powerful and abundantly present on the moon, helium 3 was considered to be the key to solving humanity's energy crisis. As it is both harvested and processed on the Tombow facility grounds, moving this resource away from the Tombow reactor is rarely allowed by the Lunar Council. But there's a nice big stockpile of it there. Some more spacesuits. And another hologram. Evacuation crew to MacArthur. Helium package and Copernicus outpost one personnel have arrived in Moonhub, sir. Evac crew 2 is still nowhere in sight though. We've been trying to reach them but we're getting no response at all. How should we proceed? Seal the door and make your way to Muna. Fuel needs to be in place before we arrive with the Tomboy evacuees. Sir, the other crew won't make it in time if I do that. They'll miss the launch. They know what they signed up for. Seal the door, now. Yes sir. So, not only did they bugger off and leave Earth behind, they left people behind on the moon as well. Looks like we're sending the robot out. <gasps> A puzzle. So we have H2O, that's water, so your water tank, whatever that is, we've got generators with different colours, what 
whatever this thing is. So you're the power transmitter thingy. We've got broken wires. So how do we get outside? Can we get outside? Oh, it's one of these puzzles. Right, so... You go to one, two, and three. You go to four and two. You go to two and three. You go to four and one. So, what color do they need to be? Blue? Yeah, that looks like it overloaded. So we need two and four. You do two and four. So you're blue, but you need another pulse. So you do two and four, you do four and one. This might take me a bit. Or not. That seems to have done it. Yeah, doors unlocked. That was nowhere near as hard as I thought it was going to be. Now it's going to sort those wires out. Monorail traffic between Copernicus, Moonhub and Tombow runs directly through this outpost. MacArthur's questionable orders to sabotage these cables heavily disrupt traffic from one base to the other, making Tombow and the MPG reactor much harder to reach from the Moonhub. So, extra little bit of sabotage there. Now what is this gate thing? Do we have to press a button or something? Or is it just online now? Oh no, there's another one here with a message or something on it. Or is it just another fancy light? Just a light. Can't see a giant reboot button or anything anywhere. Nothing around here. Oh great, let's go back down and see if the monorail's back online. Let's see what we can find. Monorail station online. Get back in. This way. Away to the next facility we go.
Oh, we're underground. Tombow track access denied. Communication with closest base operator offline. Consult operator on arrival in Rhinold Crater Base. So we have to go to a different base. One Tombow track locked. Switch tracks to avert fatal collision. <laughs> Oops. Am I dead or was that supposed to happen? Nope, I died. <laughs> Quick, switch tracks. Detected. Switch tracks to avert fatal collision. Ah, uh, messed it up again. I was not expecting another one. Right, so. You you have oxygen in. Airlock is down. Power the airlock. So door closed. Door some sort of maintenance. That's all. Swap the batteries and your fancy space station works fine. Check, make sure there's nothing over here before I leave this area. Not nope, some junk. So all electric cables, which are now going to screw me up. More oxygen. So I'm just going to have to get shocked and go through. Nope. More oxygen. up there 
No, it's like a power canister. So, put the power canister in, but now I can't get into the airlock because those things are going to electrocute me. back up here, is there anything up here? No. <gasps> Can I control it with this little guy and turn it off? I can! Right, I know what to do. I have worked it out. So, turn you back on. Go this way. Probably suffocate. Turn you off. Go in here. Turn it back on again. Airlock! Just in time. So access Reinhold Crater's station status at the control center. And we've got another hologram. Any word from the Met crew water, MacArthur? Nothing. Communication's dead. What the hell is going on? What, what the... All power in the tracks is off as well. I don't know. Let's be quick. We have to get to Moonhub with that helium before MacArthur and the evacuees arrive. We'll split up. You get a report on the tracks and look for a way to repower the monorail platforms. I'll find the operator to board the train for evac. Let's go. Wait up. There he is. Window at your six control center. I have eyes on him. Go check on the train. I'll take care of this. He was just watching them from above. Right. What time is it? They're uh, right behind you, Bart. Right behind you. In spite of WSA efforts to reduce the mental and physical burden on Lunar Connors to acceptable levels, not all colonists were left untouched by the conditions on the moon. The events at Hugens and the solitary existence at Reinhold seem to have left their mark on the base operator's mind. So he was a bit of an odd one. To whoever finds this, fi whoever reads this, find me. I didn't go crazy like these guys, Sarah. So. More posters and a control center. <gasps> Moon buggy. Another airlock. Another hologram. Edgar's hunch. Much like Maria Gonzalez, a fellow survivor of the Hugens malfunction, Reinhold operator Edgar Davis has been looking for answers. His bewildering findings blame Rosa Laverde for the Hugens cryosleep malfunction and establish a suspicious link between Lunar Council activity and the disappearance of Helium-3. So he's blaming it on her, which makes sense seeing as she's one of the people who organised the whole bugger off and leave people behind. All the unexplained shipments of materials and Helium-3 end up in Copernicus. Why? Yeah, Isaac. 
Rosa and William at the council. Can't be for communication, we already had radar communication without them. Good point. So they're not radar domes. Right, let's start this hologram. Hey! Hey you there! A malfunction has occurred at the Tombow facility. We're here to evacuate you to Copernicus Moon Hub. Train got stranded at the station though. How can we get the tracks powered again? We're in a rush. Why are you here? Have you been watching me with that thing? Are you going to the domes? At Huygens? Everyone Colonists, we're here for your safety. Planet. Official orders of the Lunar Council. Especially the Council. Hey, come in. I got bad news. We're not going to get a run-in. Any luck up there? No, just a nut job. Quit the riddles, old man. <laughs> just a nut job. ASAP? If the trains are out, you have to take the Beatles. They'll carry you across. If you get out of the crater at all, of course. The sands are rough out here. Broke a lot of beetle legs trying to cross those. But there's a path. There used to be one. I know it. Driven it many times. The rovers. Get back inside. I found something. Bring the package. So it looks like they took one of the rovers to get away. Diagnose. Unable to connect to MBT network. Not aligned. Insufficient power for long distance control. Yay, time to go exploring in a moon buggy again. Stung by a scorpion, they took my map, but only I know the way to the for the beetle to cross. Cowards. Yeah, he doesn't sound like he's in his right mind. Evac two to evac one, come in. We need to transport the helium to Moonhop by rover, since we're not going to get the train running before the MPT shuts down. Evac one, come in. Do you copy? Damn it. <laughs> What are you laughing about? <laughs> For the first time, I know everything. No more secrets. And all it took was one little switch. That was it all along. Don't mind him. Let's get out of here. I just had to see. See what you were up to. And, and now I know. Just for the fuel. Helium-3. The ticket out of here. You stranded us here? Just leave him. He's not worth it. We've got to go. Simply a flick of the switch. And you did the rest. You have no idea what you've got yourself mixed up in. And what you've put at risk. ASEL 30. Don't. Activate crowd control protocol. No! Ah! Fucking killed him. Right. Give me that oxygen. So yeah, not trusting you, you little bastard. Anything else over here? Some more oxygen. Right, let's get in this thing and go. What are we doing? Oh, it's a little magnetic crane to drop it down. Me. 
that one, and that one. Does that look wonky to anybody else? No, it is wonky, it's leaning over. There's the monorail, right? So, make our way in these. You are not working. Do I have to turn the other one on first? Looks like it, right. Ramp. Yeah, so this one's got power. So we'll do this one first. If I can park properly. Leg it. Dodgy door. Um, send this guy under the door. You all right, Manu? All we have really discovered so far is the people who were living on the moon were dicks. And not only did they abandon Earth, they decided to fuck up the moon a bit before they left. To purposely leave the Earth without power. Like, they turned up, like, we were at, like, a way station for the monorail. And a guy turned up and went, oh yeah, there's, like, a malfunction at the reactor facility. And the security guy just turned around and went, I don't see any malfunction. <laughs> And anybody who was refusing to go with them, they just sort of overpowered and dragged away. And now we need to get power back on by realigning another one of these laser dish things. So, try not to get burnt again this time. It is, it's interesting. Like the the controls and the the puzzles and stuff are pretty cool as well. Ah Like the story's pretty interesting as well, like they had this malfunction in the cryo sleep thing out of another facility and now it's looking like they broke that on purpose as well so it's kind of tense because it sounds like not only did they bugger off and sabotage things it sounds like they might have actually killed some people as well Right, so you fire at that one. Ooh. Yeah, there's some pretty tense bits, especially in these bits where I've got no oxygen. And I'm like trying to work out where to go. Yeah, 
Yeah, it seems like there was a, like they said there was a cryo sleep malfunction, and all but three people died. And one of the people who, why have I got a timer? So all but th three people died, and one of the people who survived are one of the people on this moon council who's doing this evacuation or buggering off so it sounds like she may have sabotaged the cryopods and that's why the rest of those people died or at least that's what I'm going with come on, open Run, boy. This place doesn't watch stable at all. Yeah. This place is fucked. Ow. We can moon jump. Almost fucked that one up then. in oh no like I can see it wobbling this isn't gonna end well at all quick zap Yeah, we've got power to the monorail again. Oh no. Fuck. Crushed the moon buggy. oxygen here. There. Done. Airlock. Fuck you. That's got oxygen in it. <sighs> Made it. Just. Monorail is still offline apparently. Do I need to like reboot it or something? Yeah, it was getting a bit close then. 
activate the monorail station inside the right so I need to go back to the control center and reboot it cheers this way whoa lights are freaking out yeah timers like that always make me nervous like really nervous Monorail is back online. They evacuated? No, 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 this can't be right. They can't just leave. The colony will fail without them. And Earth. How could they all be so goddamn selfish? What were they thinking? Can they be so Warning. Tumbo reactor failing. Outward protocol in effect. Evacuate all facilities. Yes, I know they evacuated. I know. I know I'm alone. Shit. Tumbo reactor capacity at ten percent. It's still going. Alex, we have to go. This is this would make things right. We could fix this. We can fix this. <sighs> okay. Just follow the tracks along the pillars. You'll make it to Tombo. You'll make it, Sarah. Rolf. So we're on the monorail again. Right, Alex. So it turns out that reactor they sabotaged, they didn't do it properly because it's still producing power. It's just it's only a small amount. So we're going to try and fix it. And there's Earth. <laughs> yeah, right. Ground control to Fortuna One. I'm not sure if you're still there. The dust storms. They've gotten worse. Everything has. The solution has to be a tombo. Whether it's the reactor or the MPT transmitter itself, I can't tell. But we're at the end of the line, Rolf. We could use some good news down here. I wish I, I could. I wish I could help you. Oh, Booker. Brakes. Brakes. Brakes, please. Uh.
just. Me out. If in doubt, just zap it. Ah, oh, it's some sort of quarry. The bridge providing entry to the Tombow facility lies in ruins. Although no signs of sabotage or demolition are apparent, the debris marks the debris bears no marks of natural calamity either. Only a narrow path remains intact for outgoing monorail traffic. Sarah has either reached Tombow before the bridge collapsed or found another way in. Right, let's have a look around this quarry. There we have your standard explosive barrels. It even says flammable on it. We have door. Your door. No, you're an oxygen refill. Cool. We have this thing. This thing which we can move. Oh, it's helium. Three helium. That should be impossible, technically. Right. I'm going to use this as a stepping stone. Or try to. Come on, move. Hmm. So let's top up on oxygen first. And we're in. You're collapsed. <gasps> Drilling machine. When Dr. Rosa Laverde joined the WSA, she committed herself to one single goal, developing a sustainable energy source for Earth. To that end, the copious amounts of helium-3 harvested from excavated moon rock made for outstanding fuel. Still, it would take her years to develop a reactor that would efficiently process helium-3. Only then could the resulting energy be transmitted by the MPT. More oxygen, please. <gasps> Jumping puzzle. Which I immediately failed the first jump. Throw way back up. There it is. Wait. Give me that oxygen. No! Right, I'm going to need a refill. Or I'm going to need to get up there quickly. No! Oh, made it. Yeah, it's weird. Let me in the airlock. Is 
So we are in Tombow. So seeing as we're in the next big area, I think I am going to finish here for today. So thanks for watching everybody. I'll be continuing it again next Saturday. I know Manu but I am tired and hungry so I am going to go in search of food. Food. But yeah, I will be back. I'll be playing Deliver Us the Moon again next Saturday. But before then, on Tuesday, it will be uh, Two Point Hospital again. We're going to continue with Two Point Hospital. And with the absolute chaos that is now happening in that game as we're getting bigger and bigger hospitals. Like, I will show you on Tuesday what I had to do to the previous hospital to get it up to three stars. But, yeah, Tuesday at around half five UK time again. I shall see you all there. But first, we shall find somebody to raid. Let's see who's on, shall we? Um... Who do I know who's online? Right, let's have a look for games and stuff. Then, oh, stat is online. Let's all go and raid stat. Give her a surprise. She's playing Spyro as well. Cool. I do love Spyro. It's a great series. I need to play it again at some point. So, everybody go and say hi to Start Next. She's a lovely person. She's a lot of fun. To, she's a lot of fun to watch as well. Right. She's been playing a bunch of Spyro and Crash Bandicoot and things like that. So. Say hi to everybody and be good. I will see you all again on Tuesday. Bye.